Christmas? Anybody else get rubbish presents? How tight is this? How tight is this? One year, my parents got me hide and seek for Christmas. That's taking the neck, isn't it? You can't give somebody hide and seek. It's just an idea that's been around for hundreds of years. You can't do that. My mother, oh, it's the thought that counts. Well, I've got a thought, Mum. You're going to a home. How about that? I always seem to get the rubbish. I give people good things. It's not that. It's not that problem of, you know, I give people good... I gave my girlfriend an iPad. Do you know what she gave me? She gave me a toothbrush. <laughs> I thought, hey, firstly, a cheeky cow. It's like giving somebody deodorant. This is... I wouldn't have minded an ordinary toothbrush. This is the monstrosity she got me. I said to her, how much did you spend on this? She said, oh, it was on sale, Rod. It was really cheap. It was only $179.99. <laughs> I said, oh, well, a toothbrush for under 200 quid certainly sounds like a bargain, love. <laughs> you certainly saved us a few quid there with your bargain hunting, are you? <laughs> toothbrush for under 200 quid, my God. I said, she said, but it is, it is a bargain. Look, it's awesome. It's the best you can get. It's got, it's got rechargeable brush. It's got five brushing modes. It's got a computer. She said, look, it's got an onboard computer. I said, well, that's different if it's got a computer on it, because at the moment I'm using a separate toothbrush and laptop. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward to get everything onto the toothbrush, is it? Right? She said, what do you mean? I said, do I just put it all on a USB stick and copy it onto the toothbrush? Is that she said, I don't think it's a computer in that way. I said, well, I mainly do word processing. Has it got Word or Office? She said, no. I said, well, what about the internet? Can I go online, check my email? She said, no, I don't think so. I said, well, has it got Bluetooth? Is it, you know, has it got a DVD drive? How many USB ports has it got? Has it got Garage Band? Has it got iTunes? She said, no, it doesn't do any of that. I said, well, would you mind telling me, for the love of God, for 179 99 what this toothbrush computer does? You know what she said? She said, it tells you how many times you've used the toothbrush. <laughs> I can stop taking an abacus into the bathroom. Oh, no longer do I have to scratch five bar gates into the bathroom walls. At last I can throw out all that paper tooth cleaning records I've been keeping. <laughs> Am I missing some in here? Why do you want to know how many times you've used your toothbrush? She said, she said it's so you know when to buy a new toothbrush. I said, I know. I know. Maybe I'm unusually gifted. Call me the toothbrush whisperer, but I know when to buy a new toothbrush. I buy a new one when the one I'm using starts looking less like Ken Barlow and more like Ken Dodler. That's why I know when to buy. I know. I know. She said, but it's got a timer on it. I said, oh, well, I take it all back. If it's got a timer on it, that changes everything. Only this morning I fancied a boiled egg, but I didn't have a toothbrush handy. I tried it on it. I tried timing it on a loofah, but the yolk was still running out. She said, you don't understand, with a timer, it knows how long you've been brushing your teeth. I said, so do I again, I know. I was there when I started. You... I started, I kicked off the whole toothbrushing thing a few minutes. What's the worst that can happen if I forget when I started brushing my teeth? I lose track of time and plow on into the night. Brushing through the following day and the day after day after day. Relentless. Two weeks later, my... Neighbours have started to worry because they haven't seen me for a fortnight. And there's a weird froth bubbling out of the bathroom window. The froth comes out of the bathroom window into the street. Drivers are abandoning their vehicles because the visibility is reduced to a couple of feet. There's disoriented, foam-covered drivers staggering helplessly, the eyes burning with peppermint. Search and rescue helicopters whir overhead. News teams from around the globe arrive on my doorstep. Eventually, riot police break down my door to find me in a foam-filled bathroom in blood-soaked pajamas, still brushing a toothless, gummy, gaping hole where my face used to be, like some kind of minty Daniela Westbrook. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got time to read the field. Merry, Merry Christmas, Chief. Thank you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.